Now, un unfortunately, Sam 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 has died. What a shame. Shame. So, and he's been turned into this wonderful pumpkin. Get inside of me. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll get inside of you. No, 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 no. No, 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 shut up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Same. Guys, what sucks? I love them dislikes! SpongeBob x Squidward. Oh. SpongeBob. SpongeBob woke up to the sound of his usual alarm blaring through his house. Good morning, world! SpongeBob jumped out of bed and ran downstairs, quickly getting ready for the wonderful day ahead of him at the Krusty Krab. When he was ready, he ran outside, screaming his familiar chant. I'm ready! Squidward popped his head out of the window. Will you be quiet? It's bad enough that I have to deal with you during the week. I don't want to have to deal with you during the week. I mean... There was no one there. I've been putting up this act of not liking Spongebob for years, just to cover up the fact that I really love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything about him. Okay. I love his hit. I love hearing his oh, no. unique laugh. Oh, no. I love when I hand him an order ticket and we touch for half a second. Oh, no. Squidward actually started to tear up. Oh, no. But I can never have him. Squidward closed his eyes, trying to stop the tears. Squidward. Spongebob was in Squidward's doorway. <laughs> what are you doing here? How much did you hear? Spongebob looked down and stare and stare at his shoes. That's a bit bad. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could play shoes. with if you could play with me because Patrick is busy. I heard everything. <laughs> the only noise in the room was Squidward's silent crying. Finally, Spongebob spoke. Squidward, I I had no idea you felt that way. Spongebob walked over to Squidward and sat down next to him. He placed his hand on Squidward's hand, sending a shock up Squidward's spine. And I have to admit, Spongebob looked at Squidward, I feel the same. I, I love you, Squidward. Wait, let me just scroll in down. Silence, pure silence, until Squidward grabbed Spongebob and pulled him in for a kiss. It was short and sweet. Spongebob's eyes popped open with shock. He closed them when he realised what was going on. When Squidward pulled away, Spongebob whispered, barely audible, more. Squidward obeyed and pulled him in closer. Squidward started to rub Spongebob's chest while kissing him. Spongebob made a slight moan. Squidward, I want you. I need you. That's all Squidward needed to hear. He knelt down and unzipped Spongebob's square pants <laughs> and put them to the side. Spongebob pulled Squidward's lips towards him for another kiss. He needed to kiss him, to feel his wet, warm lips against his. While they were kissing, Squidward started to caress Spongebob's bulge, <laughs> causing Spongebob to release another moan of pleasure. <laughs> Squidward walked over to his bed and grabbed some pillows and put them on the floor. He gently lied Spongebob on him. He kissed Spongebob's lips, then started leaving tiny kisses on his chest all the way down to his bulge. <laughs> um, Squidward looked at Spongebob almost teasingly. Squidward got on top of Spongebob and started to rub his bulge against Spongebob's. Their breathing got heavier. Spongebob started to bump his bulge into Squidward's. They went faster and faster. Squidward, I think I'm gonna come. Squidward smirked. We can't have that just yet, can we? We have only just begun. Squidward slowed down and got off, on, off of Spongebob. He laid a tiny kiss on Spongebob, making Spongebob shudder. Squidward slid his tentacle into Spongebob's underwear and grabbed Spongebob's cock. <laughs> Squidward started to move his hand up and down slowly at first. Spongebob's breathing sped up and he started to I'll slightly okay, moon but... again. Squidward removed his hand and <laughs> then he started to leave tiny kisses along his dick. He then gave Spongebob a few sucks and then picked Spongebob up and put him on the edge of his bed with his ass in the air. Squidward positions himself at Spongebob's entrance. This might hurt a bit, so I'm gonna take it slow, okay? Spongebob nodded. Squidward <laughs> put his dick in Spongebob slowly, being cautious on how this will hurt him, considering he's just a virgin and how little he is. Spongebob gasped in pain, and his eyes teared up. He didn't think it would be this painful. To try to remove some of the pain, Squidward laid kisses on Spongebob's back and grabbed his dangling cock, stroking it. <laughs> Squidward sped up with his thrusting. Slowly, Spongebob's pain t turned into pleasure. He moaned, reassuring Squidward that he was enjoying this just like he was. 
Squidward held onto SpongeBob hips and started <coughs> pumping faster into SpongeBob <laughs> to the point where he couldn't breathe. And he was about to come. SpongeBob was raking his fingers into the bed. Squidward <laughs> took his dick out of SpongeBob and SpongeBob turned around and started to suck it. He began to deep throat Squidward's cock, then softly suck on it as Squidward began to come in SpongeBob's mouth. Squidward pushed SpongeBob onto the bed. He slid SpongeBob's cock into his mouth and began to suck it in a way he could he never could have thought. SpongeBob began to roll his hips in symphony with Squidward's bobbing head. He never in a million years would have imagined how good this felt. He let out a moon, closed his eyes, and leaned back onto the bed as he came into Squidward's mouth. After he came, Squidward continued to stroke SpongeBob's stick, just to make sure he got it all out of him. Wow, SpongeBob said, because that was the only word he could find. Squidward looked at SpongeBob. Yeah, wow. He was the heading one. I've read this one. And would wait for. Bitch, what the fuck? Alright. SpongeBob and Sandy were packed off for their friend's vacation over the summer. Patrick and the others were downstairs waiting for the two to finish packing. Sandy had finished before SpongeBob and told him that she was heading downstairs and would wait for him. Okay, save me a spot in the front, Sandy, he said. No pop, iPod, Sandy responded. When Sandy got downstairs, everyone was smiling at her devilishly. She just looked at them like they were crazy. She thought she should ask why they were smiling at her like that, but restrained herself from doing so. She just closed out the thought of thinking they of thinking they probably finished smoking weed and rolled their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they they could have been any of a there couldn't have been another explanation for their retardedness. <laughs> it was natural anyway. Why are you people smiling at me like that? She said in a southern accent with her hands on her fat hips. Oh, nothing. Ooh. We were just smoking weed. Yep. Patrick responded with hazy eyes and a blunt in his hand. <laughs> Whatever, Sponge. <laughs> and whatever. <laughs> Sponge, and she's coming down later. When are we leaving? After this slow ass finishes. <laughs> Whenever, really. Sandy looked at him with a look that he already knew what was going to happen because of what he just said. Her eyes told him he was in for it. Patrick always talked about SpongeBob, and someone always told on him. I'm telling. <laughs> no, please, he'll kill me, he, he begged, and dropped down, holding onto Sandy's legs for dear life, and various other sick reasons. Oh. Right then, Spongebob came down, and Sandy told him what Patrick said. He got really mad and slapped him in the face, and fuelted. <laughs> He took his rage out on Patrick's fuel face. Bitch, what the fuck is your problem? I'll beat your <laughs> ass up. <laughs> <laughs> when he was done, Pat apologised and they drove off. Everybody was talking. SpongeBob was looking at Sandy with lustful eyes. He wanted to fuck her bad. <laughs> so he reached over and put his hand in her and felt her wet <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Sandy looked at him with mad eyes. She wasn't in the mood, but he was. SpongeBob, get your hand out of my gun now. <laughs> she whispered with a force. You know you want it, girl, he said with a greasy smile. <laughs> oh, she, she was disgusted with him so much right now. She didn't like it, but her mind just told her to shut the fuck up and let him touch her. She was stubborn, still fingering her. He reached over to her clit, which made her go crazy. Oh, stop it, you asshole! She whispered back. <laughs> he didn't say anything, but didn't stop either. He knew she liked it, so he wouldn't stop until they got to where they were going. He rubbed it ever so lightly, which made her shut her eyes, <laughs> closed as the climaxed on the fingers. Shh, cunt juice. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said and licked his fingers 
while looking at her. Finally, he stopped as she pulled, as they pulled to their destination. They were at the Holiday Inn. Everyone loved it there. <laughs> SB and Sandy got to their rooms first. Sandy jumped on SpongeBob and got him to the bed. SpongeBob just looked at her thinking she was going to return the favour. SpongeBob? Yes? He said, getting hard and smiling like a dumb child. Get off my suitcase. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Discouraged, he got up and sat on the bed. Sandy looked at him, saying that he was a pervert and needed to stop being in the mood all the time. He nodded and looked at her skirt. It was just above her knees, mm. but, <laughs> but some thigh showed when she bent over. He imagined what he would look like between them. I need to stop oh, being no. a damn pervert, but oh, I no. want to fuck her so bad. <laughs> oh well, I'll just make her no. have it with me. <laughs> His thoughts turned into plans of making Sandy have sex with him no matter what. In a while, after everyone had situated their stuff and got comfortable, they all went exploring. They all met up at the Kids R Adults Lobby at 5.30. Sandy and Spongebob were, of course, together. SB had long ago forged his plan for Sandy, and then before he could ask that they explore, Patrick already said they would go to the... <laughs> go, so the time with them both would be much longer now. Spongebob told Sandy there was a surprise in the bathroom, the rest of the group was far away now. She obviously believed him and followed <laughs> in in the sparkling clean bathroom. There was a big stand that led to a private lobby next door. SB took the advantage and went inside with Sandy. Sandy just looked around in awe at the whole place. It's beautiful, she thought. There was a big bed sort of stump there and SB signalled for Sandy to sit down on it. Sit, Sandy. It's comfortable. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you like... I'm scared. Mmm, mm. okay. She sat down and felt the soft fabric on the sheet. Do you like it? Yes. It's wonderful. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you do. SpongeBob moved closer so that he was now between her thighs and looked at him confused. What the fuck is he planning? She thought. <laughs> he moved close and now he was holding her hips firmly so she wouldn't struggle. Her hands lay at her sides and she felt that she had been tricked. Let go! Sandy, he whispered. Spongebob, you can't make me scream at all. It's me, she told him trying to sound cocky. Fine then, don't, fine then, be like that. But let me show you what I can really do. <laughs> After that, he grabbed one breast and pressed on her nipple. <laughs> A surprising <laughs> moan came from her mouth and her eyes shut closed. He immediately went down to her panties and put his hand between them. Are you sure I can't make you scream? Yes, that's what you think. <laughs> he then went for her clit and rubbed it fiercely. Ooh. <laughs> moaning and groaning sounds, signalling that she would climax fast. And all of a sudden, she fell back and lay there. As her climax came, she screamed his name and was so satisfied. I was sad, but not for long. SpongeBob! She screamed out. <laughs> He quickly stuck his dick in her pussy <laughs> and pumped in and out, making her moan more. She was screaming, but no one could hear her. He didn't have as much fun of an affair as she did, but he enjoyed it. He was doing this so she wouldn't be a virgin. The first pump he did, the hardest and the slowest of them all, and said, Ha! You're not a virgin anymore! Told you, bitch! Shut the fuck up, you bastard! What? You heard me, asshole! He then shoved himself hard with within her, and she then lost her voice because she was so weak 
from all that screaming. He looked at her. She had enough for now. She was sweating and couldn't move much. She was exhausted, but spoon spoon boob was up and ready <laughs> for the action. Not spoon boob is my not, favorite animated character. Not a sweat. <laughs> Did he break while he fucked her? Now he he would just drag her back to the room for some more fun. That's the end. Sequel oh no. coming soon. <laughs> I just want you to... Oh, it's a single piece of paper that says nigger faggot. <laughs>